Hi guys, Yuri here again. Welcome to YB Plays Music. And today I'm gonna show you guys how to do the G chord. This is the last of the basic major chords. So next week we will start off all the same chords, but the minor version of them. So the G chord, the most common way to play this one, uh, we're going to place our middle finger on the third fret of the sixth string. Then we're going to place our index finger on the 2nd fret of the 5th string. And then finally we're going to place our pinky finger on the 3rd fret of the 1st string. Alright? If we play all the strings it sounds like this. So that's the G chord. So normally I would now go over to the second way to play it, uh, but in this position you already have a few options and the way that I just showed you is actually not exactly the way that I play it. I hold the same fingers in the same positions, but I add my ring finger to it. I place my ring finger on the third fret of the second string. So then it sounds like this. If I don't use it, it sounds like this. So similar, but a little bit different, all right? Of course, you can also choose, instead of just your pinky finger, you can place your ring finger there as well. It sounds the same. Depends on how comfortable it is for you to play it, all right? So there's another way to play it in this position without using your ring finger. So you could use your middle ring and pinky finger as well, but that's a little bit harder already to play clean. But in some situations you could use that one. So, so I'm quickly gonna pause it right here because I forgot to mention another way to play the G chord. And that's what I'm gonna show you right now. Here we go. Hi guys, future me here. Just to say in the next part of the video, I forgot to show you another way to play the G chord. So that's what I'm going to show you guys before we continue the video. So the second way to play the G chord is actually how we started off with a version of the F chord being this one. But we just move up two frets the arm. All right. So my index finger covers all the strings on the third fret. Then both my ring and pinky finger are on the fifth fret on the fifth and fourth string. And then finally my middle finger is on the fourth fret of the third string. It sounds like this. Okay, that's also a very common way to play the G chord. Okay, now let's continue with the video. To go over to the second position to play the G chord, we're gonna move up a little bit down the arm. Last week with the F chord, we had a position right here. All right, so if we move up two frets again, we get the G chord. That's pretty high up the arm, so it gets a little bit tricky to place middle, ring, and pinky finger just underneath each other over there, and then add the index finger to that. That's a pretty hard one to play clean, just because of the reason that I just told you, those three fingers that are underneath each other are a little bit tricky to do. So you could go further down the arm for other chords as well, but it just gets harder because the frets are getting closer together there. So those are two ways to play the G chord, all right? So guys, I hope you learned something. Next week will be the A chord again, but the A M, the A minor chord, all right? I hope you look forward to that one. So don't forget to subscribe, like and share the video and check out some of my reaction videos and music videos which are also on my channel. So thank you very much guys, see you guys next time, bye!